Hey guys, it's Christy, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we have my 2022 Project Pan Finale. So before we get into it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's get into it. All right, so we are now at the very end of my very first year-long project pan. I'm so glad I did this this year. I am definitely going to do it for next year as well. I really learned a lot and I had so much fun focusing on products. I'm somebody who in general is just very goal oriented. I need to be working towards something. So this was really fun for me to do. So we're going to talk about the products that are remaining in my project my progress on them, and then we're going to talk about the lessons that I learned this year, and then we're also going to talk about everything that I did finish in 2022. So let's just hop right into it. First up is my MAC Painterly Paint Pod. So this one has been in the project since the very beginning. So here is what this one looks like. So when I first introduced this one at the beginning, I had a sizable dip in the product, but I had not even hit bottom, and now I have a ton out of this. So I do feel really good about this. I feel really good about how much use I've gotten, and I will definitely continue trying to use this up in the new year. It's not not going to be part of my project pan because I do want to play with some of my other eyeshadow primers. So while I will continue trying to use this up, I do want to give some of my other eye primers a chance, especially my Milani eyeshadow primer, which is just my favorite. I like this. I like the Milani more, so I am looking forward to showing that one a little bit of love. I feel really, really good about the progress out of this one, for sure. You can tell I have really, really tried to use this this year, so I feel great about that. I'm not really disappointed that I didn't use it all up. I really wasn't expecting to. Overall, I'm just very pleased with the progress I made on this one. Next, we have my Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. So this foundation is such a favorite of mine. This was my favorite for 2021. It was surpassed as a favorite in 2022, but it is still such a favorite. My lines keep wearing off, but when we started with this one, it was around here and now it is down to here. I could have used a lot more of this this past month. Catrice pulled out of Ulta to focus on their online presence, but because I'm in Canada, I thought I would be okay, but it looks like it's kind of disappearing from our drugstores as well. Uh, things are just going out of stock and they don't seem to be restocked very quickly and then the website does not ship to Canada. So I kind of got a little bit shy about finishing this one up because I love it so much and I don't know if I'll be able to find it again. However, I understand that's ridiculous, so I am going to try to finish this up because I do not want it to go bad or go to waste, and it's almost done. So I am going to keep working on this one. Again, not in my project pan, but I am going to keep trying to finish it up. So definitely look for this one in my next empties video. Next, we have my Physician's Formula butter bronzer. So this one is another one that I hadn't even come close to hitting pan on at the beginning of the project and by I believe it was March I'd hit the tiniest bit of pan. And now we have a pretty good size pan in here so I feel really good about that as well. It's actually harder to use up a bronzer than I thought. I really learned a lesson about how hard it is to hit pan on a blush this year. Bronzer it's a little bit easier but still it takes some time so I definitely learned that as well. However, I'm really really glad to just see so much more use out of this one. I definitely thought when I first put this in the project that I would be able to finish it up and of course I couldn't but it was also the year of bronzer. There were so many bronzers released. I tried to try all of them apparently but I loved using this. It was not hard to reach for this all the time. So overall, I'm just happy with how much I was able to use. Okay, the next product is one I thought I would have done by the end of this month, and it really almost is done, but this is my NYX brow glue. So this one is really hard to show you, especially in the photos, how much I have used up. If I take the applicator out, this really does look almost empty. There's just little bits of the glue around, up around the inside. So I really am trying to scrape around the sides of the tube when I'm trying to get product. So that tells me this one really only has a few more uses left. I was hoping it was going to be empty by the finale, but I'm still pretty happy that I only have a few more uses of this left. And this 
this is another one that I think you're gonna see in my next empties video. I'm happy with it and I'm happy with the progress I've made. Little sad I didn't finish it, however, it is very, very close, so I'm just gonna be happy with that. The last two products are empties and I am so excited. So the first one is my MAC Fix Plus. This one I've been working on all year. I really do love MAC Fix Plus, but I've just found setting sprays that I like more, so I'm more inclined to reach for. And I do really, really love this. I really enjoyed this one. I think I am actually going to keep this bottle and I'm gonna put my Maybelline glass spray in here because I hate the mister on that one, whereas the mister on this one is fine. So I may do that instead. I am really happy that I have been able to use this app. I feel very accomplished. So when we first put this in, the product was up to here. So it already had quite a lot of use out of it. And I'm not somebody who kind of overdoes it with the setting spray situation. I don't drench my face. I just never really have. So I'm a little surprised that I was able to finish this one up, but also very proud at the same time. Really, really excited to be reporting on this empty. And finally, the last empty is my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder. Completely empty. This is the main powder I used all year long. I use this all over the face. I use this to set my eyeshadow primer. So I really, really went in on this one. I actually did have a tiny little bit around the outside and I dropped the powder and it shattered. So this one got used up, but honestly, I really think I got my use out of this one. This is probably one of the very, very best drugstore powders you can find. I love this one. I had this in translucent and I would definitely consider repurchasing this one if I was in need of another powder. Right now I have a lot that I'm trying to work through so I'm not going to repurchase this right now but in the future I would definitely consider doing so. I really enjoy this. Let's talk about what I learned during my project pan this year and what lessons I'm going to carry with me into next year's project. I definitely learned a lot about how long it takes to use a powder, how long it takes to go through creams and liquids, and for the most part, pressed face powders don't take too long. Going into things like bronzers and blushes, they take a lot longer to use up. So I think going into the next project, my goal isn't going to be so much as I use this product entirely. The goal is literally going to be to hit pan. Like thinking back on my butter bronzer, had I just hit pan on this, I could probably have left it there and gone on to another bronzer in my collection and hit pan on that one as well. So I kind of wish I would have done that. Instead, I kept trying to use this to see if I could use it up entirely, and of course I didn't. And then a lot of my other bronzers in my collection didn't get as much love as maybe they could have. So that's one lesson that I did learn this year. So if I have a bronzer in next year's project, the goal is gonna be to hit pan and then add in another bronzer. And I'm going to apply the same toward pressed powders as well. When it comes to liquids and creams, if I have maybe a cream blush or a cream bronzer, the goal in that is going to be to hit pan also. But if I'm using a liquid foundation, the goal with that is going to be to use it up. So basically liquid and creams, because they do expire so much more quickly, I do want to use those up. With powders, they last a lot longer and they are harder to go through. So the goal with them will be to just hit pan. So I imagine certain products will have exceptions, but that was the main lesson I learned. I also learned the importance of putting in products that you do really love, because if you don't, you're not gonna use it. You're not gonna reach for it, and then you're just gonna be disappointed at the lack of progress. I also learned the importance of putting in products that are kind of a sure thing to finish up, because it kind of keeps you motivated, especially if you're not seeing progress on some of your products, but there are some that you're definitely going to use up then absolutely you should definitely have products in there that you know are a sure thing to use up. So I think that's very important as well. Now let's talk about how many products I did use up this year in general. So I was going to do this in a separate video but I honestly didn't think I would be able to spend enough time talking about this so 
I finished up 18 products in 2022, which makes me pretty happy. So I did finish up two concealers. I finished the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer and the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser, which makes me very happy. I finished quite a few brow pencils. I finished the e.l.f. brow pencil, a Real Her brow pencil, a Benefit Precisely My Brow, the Item Beauty Brow Chow, the Billion Dollar Brows brow pencil, and the Huda Bomb Brows. So I did great for brow pencils this year. And the first two were actually in my project pan and then I realized this is ridiculous because I consistently use brow pencils. So I stopped including those in my project. I finished two setting sprays this year. I finished my Catrice fixing spray which was in my project at the beginning and I finished my MAC Fix Plus which re replaced the Catrice in my project. I also finished my Lawless Lip Liner, which was part of my project. I also finished up a L'Oreal Balm and Gloss, which I'm happy about. You'll see that in an upcoming empties video. I finished my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder, and then I finished some mascaras. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the amount of products I finished up, and a lot of them were in my project pan. So. Having a project on the go really did help me use up my products. So overall, I loved doing this project this year. I'm definitely going to have the same kind of project in 2023, and I'm really, really looking forward to what that's going to look like. That is it. That is the finale for my 2022 project pan. I definitely used up a lot of products. Thanks to this project, I had so much fun checking in every single month. I hope you enjoyed following along the project with me. And that is it. So I will see you guys in a couple days with my 2023 intro. Thank you so very much for watching. I believe this video is going up on New Year's Eve. So I want to wish you all a happy and safe new year. And I also want to thank you so very much for all of your support this past year. I actually finally hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube this year, and that took forever. So thank you so much for helping me get there. Thank you so much for watching my videos and spending some of your day with me. It means more than you will ever know. So thank you so very much, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!